Have you ever wondered how PDF files spy on little girls? If you did, you're probably one of them too. Today's video, I'm going to show you how hackers take full control of your camera and how they can also spy on you. I'm also going to show you how you can avoid it and how you can check if you're being spied on right now. By the way, if you want a free hacker kit or you want to join our Discord group, it's linked down in the description. Before we begin, remember, hacking is illegal and should never be done to harm anyone. In front of us, we have Kali Linux and we have the Canfish GitHub page pulled up. For anyone who doesn't know, Canfish is a technique used to take camera shots of the target's phone or PC webcam. So what this Canfish made by TechShipNet does is that when we run the shell file, it gives us a link. We send that link to our target. Once they open it, it asks for camera access. Once they allow, it starts taking front camera shots and sends it back to us with their GPS tracking, which, which is basically their IP. We can try it ourselves by going here to the code button, copying the web URL, opening up the terminal and typing git clone, cloning the repository, cloning it to Canfish. Then we can go into the directory, Canfish, ls, list files. Right here, we can see we have our main shell file, Canfish.sh. We also have our uh, website templates like festivalwishes.html, live YouTube TV.html, online meeting.html. And to run Canfish, all we have to do is type bash followed up by Canfish.sh. That's all we have to do. Right here, it started. Choose tunnel server. For anyone who doesn't know what a tunnel is, it basically connects our local host to the internet so anyone can access our website using a link. In our case here, we have two options, ngrok and cloudflare, and we want to choose cloudflare so we don't have to set up anything. For ngrok, we would have to make an account, get our authentication token, but if you wanted a custom domain, you should choose ngrok to make the site look legit. Press enter. Here, choose a template, festival wishing, live YouTube TV, online meeting. It doesn't really matter, let's just choose festival wishing. Enter festival name, who am I, tang, festival, festival. And it's making it now. Here you can see starting the PHP server, starting Cloudflare tunnel. And right here, we can see direct link. It made our link. Here's our link, waiting for targets and waiting for the GPS location track in. Right here, I have my emulator pulled up and we paste in the link. We wait. And right here, it's loading. It got the IP. Target opened the link. It got the IP. It's loading. We allow, we allow access. Enter your name, it asks for our name, let's just type our name. Who am I Tang? Okay, hello, who am I Tang? Allow camera access, allow. Right here, here it looks like nothing happening. Here it says camera file received, camera file received, camera file received. If you go into the folder right here, we can see it taking camera in real time. Here, right here. It's black because it's an emulator. But yeah, it's taking picture, it's working. Let's stop this before my PC blows up. And you might be asking, yeah, that's an emulator, but does it work on a real phone? And I have it right here. We can try it right here. So right here is my phone. For anyone wondering, it's a Samsung S9. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in that link real quick. So here I typed it in and also have a terminal pulled up so you can see it happen in real time. And all we have to press is go. One, two, three. Right here, it got IP and it's asking us to allow access. Allow. It's pulling up. Type in your name. Who am I, Tang? Okay. Allow for camera access, allow. Right here, it looks like nothing is happening here. But in the terminal, cam file received, cam file received, cam file received. Let's pull up the folder. And right here, here, we can, I can see my phone, here's my ear. And the way you prevent this from happening, when you go into a website and they ask you for access, make sure the site is legit and authorized. Always be skeptical to give website access to your devices, especially when they look dodgy and sketchy. And the way you check if this is happening to you, go to your browser settings, into permissions, there you see your devices listed, and you can check for each device what website has access to that device. 